<laughs> Beverly, congratulations! We did it! We did it, baby! Oh no, it's gonna rain more now. Did you hear that? Oh, okay, how are we gonna get home now? Hi, sweeties! Welcome back to the channel. I am nervous. I'm very, very nervous because today is my last day of my master's. Ah, which means I have my final presentation. It's not like a singing presentation, unfortunately. I'd be more excited about that. It's like a PowerPoint motherfucking slide presentation. Very boring. So I have this presentation today at 3 o'clock. It's 11 o'clock now and I am super nervous about it because it's my final thing and once I'm done with that, that's it, I'm done with my master's and I should, you know, providing I pass this because I passed everything else, I should get a master's degree, yay! And then I'm gonna look like a serious, clever person. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm trying to vogue but I can't do it. So I am super super nervous because I've been preparing for this presentation for months. This is basically like my final project so it's a huge thing like I had to write and record 12 songs and I had to do... it was basically kind of like a concept album so I had to come up with um, a concept <laughs> and the whole like songwriting methodology and I had to do a bunch of very like serious research and all that shit. Flashback. This is a test. This is a test. This is a test. Flashback. <laughs> I'm nervous. So if you wanna make me feel a little bit better and less nervous, <laughs> please subscribe because I post new videos every Tuesdays and Fridays. Follow me on Instagram for like daily updates on my stories and stuff and really cute photos. <laughs> Activate the notifications so you know whenever I post a new video and most importantly give us a thumbs up because it really helps the channel. Look at my nails. Ah. So the other day, oh my god, like a week ago, I did my mock presentation online. This one is gonna be online too because of COVID. Oh my god, I just realized this is so Elle Woods. Do you know who Elle Woods is from Legally Blonde? So I'm getting a degree and I'm like all pink. Well, right now I'm a hot mess, but like my, my hair is pink. And uh, I have a little chihuahua that goes to me to school, yeah, a baby. <laughs> Last year when I graduated from my undergrad, I was like feeling the Elwood's vibes as well. Like I was very pink and then, ooh. So much fun. <laughs> anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, last week I did a mock presentation, you know, just to see, you know, just to practice and see how I would do and if there was something I had to change. And if this one goes exactly as the pretend one, I should be okay. Flashback. So I have like just really briefly graded it. So obviously it's not the same as in the actual presentation where I'd mm -hmm. be able to discuss with somebody else. Mm -hmm. They have a good discussion back and forth. I've just kind of done it quickly just to get a, a brief idea. Mm -hmm. What I would give this presentation at the moment is a 68. Oh, so, that's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Absolutely. So um, it's it's strong. There's some really strong parts to it. There's other parts that could be developed. And there's things that you could definitely do in the next week mm -hmm. that would develop this even further, for sure. End of flashback. So basically, I got 68% on that one, which doesn't sound too good, but it is a merit. Like, it works like this. It's like fail, pass, merit, 
distinction. But my teacher gave me like a lot of pointers and everything and I changed a few things to try to get a distinction. I don't know if I'm gonna get there, but to be honest, I am so exhausted that even if I pass, I'm gonna be like happy and relieved, but obviously it'd be nice to get like a nice grade, but oh, just passing it and being done with it would be so great. I barely. So right now I'm gonna start getting ready. I am gonna do my makeup. One would think that like your appearance shouldn't matter. I could be like in pajamas and nobody would care, but unfortunately I think that's not the case. So I'm gonna try to make myself look professional. <laughs> <laughs> which is kind of impossible but I'm gonna try to do like like a nude serious makeup no crazy fake eyelashes or a crazy highlighter or anything then I have to pick an outfit that is like well not an outfit because it's online so they're only gonna see my top half so I could be wearing pajama bottoms and uh, like a professional top I don't even know if I have a professional top something that doesn't like <laughs> I was gonna say show my boobs. Where are the boobs? <laughs> Soon after. Okay, time for some makeup. Oh my god, this angle is gracious. <laughs> Hello. So I'm gonna go for like a natural look that is actually like a full face of makeup. So I got a new foundation that is like full coverage. But I just I don't find it comfortable to apply it with the um, beauty blender for some reason. I'm not sure why. It's because it's very thick. I find it like hard. Maybe I should use a brush. Well, can't find any foundation brushes right now. So I'm just gonna use my fingers. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> oh, we have eyebrows now. <laughs> okay, so I am gonna do kind of like a smoky eye, you know, I'm gonna define my crease and stuff, but I'm just gonna use like shades of brown, they're not too dark or anything. Okay, that's a bit better. I'm trying to decide whether or not I should... <gasps> You're not gonna believe what Beverly's doing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Beverly Zelg defreezed. You've been caught on camera. Oh no, my god. Oh my god. Come here. I don't even care about the mess, but I don't want her to eat paper. Come. No, no. No. Oh my god. Give, no. Give this to mommy right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> the weird thing is that I don't know where she got it from. Because the one in the bathroom is still there. It's intact. And she can't reach that. Like, how did she get there? Where did she get it from? Like, is she opening the cupboards now? I Thank god, I managed to get everything. I don't think she swallowed it. I was saying something about eyeliner. I don't even remember. But <laughs> I'm gonna try to do like a very thin line, like no winged or anything. I say that, but I can never do it straight, so I end up making it like thicker and thicker and thicker. And that's why I always have thick eyeliners, not because like I'm edgy and cool, it's because I can't do it properly. Two thousand years later. And voila! Oh, look at me. A professional looking, woke up like this, angel. <laughs> Oh my god, Beverly is going crazy today. I'm holding her up like this because she was going mad and like running around like a crazy person. Well, puppy. <laughs> I'm worried that she's gonna do that like during my presentation. That's gonna be really bad because I'm not gonna be able to focus if you're like running around and barking and trying to eat everything. Yeah. So I'm gonna take her out for a long walk. I think I'm gonna take her for a walk right now. So she's like chill during my presentation, so she can snooze. Yeah, I can put her little bed next to me. And she can snooze, well, her day bed, because her actual bed is like my bed. <laughs> yeah, do you want to go for the walks? <gasps> you won't know it, the walks? You yeah, maybe. Okay, let's go. <laughs> so much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Okay, so I put on my favorite t-shirt. There is this one saying, why be racist, sexist, homophobic, or transphobic when you could just be quiet? I love this one, I always wear it. And, uh, you know, it's just a t-shirt, but at least they're gonna know that my politics are good. <laughs> we are all set, we're ready to go. It's 2.15, the presentation is at 3. And my food was supposed to arrive at 1.40, okay? But 
now it's saying that it's gonna arrive at 2 40 which is 20 minutes before the presentation and it's freaking me out because if it gets delayed again and the fucking intercom rings during my presentation that's gonna be like a disaster and i wanted to like eat calmly and everything and they don't even give you like a, a, an option to cancel oh my god they're wrapping it up i really hope it doesn't take too long now by the way have you seen my slides they are really cute <laughs> I'm so happy that Beverly's chilling. That makes me very happy. I hope she stays like this. Look at her little ears. How beautiful. You're beautiful. Little girl. Oh, baby. Whew. We have seven minutes to go and the motherfucking food ain't here yet. But I'm ready to go. I'm gonna click to join the meeting right now. Let me show you. Hi. So I'm gonna join right now. Oh my god. Wish me luck. Okay, let's go. Four minutes to go. Ah. I'm like already live, just waiting for the teachers. I'm so nervous. Hi, Julia. Hi there, how are you? Hello, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. Where are you? I'm home in London. Okay, I like all those bottles up behind you. <laughs> it looks like I could mistake you for being in a pub. <laughs> That's, oh, my bell is ringing. Do you mind oh, if course, I just... Yeah. Do I have time Go to ahead. just answer it? That's fine, of course. Okay, one second. No problem. Hi, I'm so sorry about that. It's fine. <laughs> Deliveries. I hope it was good. I hope it was food. It was, but it was supposed to arrive two hours ago. Oh, classic. Yeah. Like, literally two hours. I'm not even exaggerating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I was so worried that they would ring the bell in the middle of the presentation. <laughs> <laughs> um, Julia, do we have your permission to record your presentation? Yes, yeah, sure, that's fine. All right, well, when in your own time. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, hi, everybody. I'm Julia. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, this is going to be my major repertoire project presentation for my songwriting MA at ICMP. And uh, my project is based on uh, writing. A, a concept album based on the 12 Jungian archetypes. The Jungian archetypes are 12 different personality types and they are present in many operas and uh, media, you know, movies and books. So the question is how can writing songs based upon Jungian archetypes help songwriters develop a more cohesive artistic identity? So, you know, that's what I was trying to find out throughout this whole project. When writing the song, I started to realize that writing with Jungian archetypes was not only helping me find an artistic identity, but it was especially, more than anything else, helping me overcome writer's block. I found that my personal style was, coming, was still coming through, but the main difference was that writing for a specific archetype opened up new possibilities of themes, situations and emotions I'd never thought about writing before. So now if you could please listen, find a welcome to the weird side and listen from verse one to the end of the chorus. Will do. Thank you. Uh, I found that when writing songs using Jungian archetypes, I've had many surprises regarding my own personality and artistic identity, which widened my perception of myself as a writer and opened up a new realm of subjects and feelings I now feel comfortable writing about. Uh, I also found this methodology to be specifically helpful for overcoming writer's block and uh, unlocking different facets of yourself which can be used as inspiration for writing. So yeah, so here's my bibliography, the articles, books, uh, dissertations and media that I've used to research and uh, I'd like to thank you guys so much for uh, watching this presentation and for being here like through the pandemic and everything thank you so much thank you julia got that thank you very much indeed so um yeah what would be good now is if um you just left us for a few minutes just so we can coordinate our thoughts and uh, see what questions we might want to ask sure. you mm -hmm. and then uh, so you just leave the call we'll come and pick you up in a few minutes okay cool cool okay. thank you okay thank you so much okay, okay.
oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, did you hear that? So I've done the presentation. Oh, oh I can't believe it. But they are talking about it right now. And uh, then they're going to call me back in like a few minutes and they're going to ask me questions about it. So it's not over yet. But at least the presentation part, you know, of me presenting <laughs> is done. Beverly has been really good. She only barked once. Yeah, she only barked once. Moments later. Ah! Oh my god, let me just make sure it's not <laughs> make sure it's not live anymore. Imagine if the teachers heard me. <laughs> oh my god. So they just asked me a few questions. I think I answered them well, hopefully, fingers crossed. And um at the end I was like, so when am I gonna know my grade? <laughs> and they said in 20 working days, but hopefully before that. Then I said like, but was it like alright? And like they laughed, but they kinda went went like this, like nodded. So I think I passed. Yay! Yeah! Can I celebrate even though I don't know my grade yet? I think I can, right? Because I did literally, well, a slightly better version of what I did last week on my mock presentation and I got married last week. So I think I can celebrate, right? Oh my God, imagine how embarrassing. Like I post this vlog celebrating and then I fail. <laughs> that would be really bad. No, but I think I can celebrate. Well, one way or another, whether I pass or not, which I think I will, but one way or another, I can celebrate finishing it, right? <laughs> Then I'll do another vlog celebrating me getting the actual degree, but I can celebrate. Woo! Woo! Yay, Beverly! Let's have some poke! Yay! Cheers, queers! Yeah, we done it! We done it, Beverly! We done it! Yay! <laughs> Cheers, queers! Bon appetit! Um, mon chéri! <laughs> mm, oh my god, I love poke! Yay! Yeah, I'm so happy! Oh my god, I'm so relieved! I'm so relieved. Two days later. Hi vlog. So two days went by and I haven't done anything to celebrate just yet. And then I thought, what better way to celebrate than to get a pink graduation outfit. I, I feel like I should know what the graduation outfit is actually called because I've graduated just last year from undergrad. <laughs> I can't remember. Anyway, what better way to celebrate than to get a whole pink graduation thingy and do a whole photo shoot and then go out for dinner or drinks, whatever. Yay! This is gonna be so much fun. So I need to see if this actually exists because I wanna live my Elle Woods fantasy. Oh, okay. There's one that can arrive tomorrow. Let me see if they have it in pink. They say they have it in 11 different colors. <gasps> they have it in pink. They have it in pink. Yes! Oh no, it's for kids. Oh, this one is for kids too. Maybe if I get an extra large. Now I'm gonna go with the cheaper one, seeing as that they're all for kids. That's sad that grown-ups don't want pink graduation gowns. Oh yeah, that's why it's called graduation gown and cap. Yay! We've got it! We've got it! We've got it! Woo! <laughs> Yay! We have a full pink graduation cap and gown for the photo shoot. This is gonna be so much fun. I really hope, fingers crossed, it fits me. It's for kids, but it's extra large. So like, maybe it's gonna, oh my God. Well, I'll just return it if it doesn't. And then I'll cry because then I will have a cool pink photo, Elle Woods photo shoot. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow when my outfit arrives. <laughs> Several days later. Good morning, everybody. How are you doing? I am having a little bit of a rough time because my top right wisdom tooth is coming out and apparently the dentist said it can't be removed yet because it's not all the way out which I've never heard of before like I always thought like people had like full-on surgeries to get them from under there because literally there isn't like space well, my whole problem with my teeth in the first place, even, you know, the, one of the reasons why I got veneers and everything is because there isn't enough space in my mouth. I, I can't even talk properly, can you tell? I mean, I always talk a bit funny because of my accent, but I'm talking especially funny. So it's like really, really hurting. I took some painkillers now, so I am better, but I was in excruciating pain earlier and I can't open my mouth. Like, that's the most I can open my mouth. 
oh, if I open, try to open a little bit more, it really hurts. But my graduation cap and gown has arrived and uh, I've decided that I'm not gonna let this shit ruin my celebration because, you know, I worked so hard to get a degree. I don't know if all of you watching this video know like of my story, I always say that. <laughs> but when I moved to the UK seven years ago, like I shared a room with four people, I barely had money for food, I worked at a little street market making churros <laughs> and I managed to put myself through uni and now through my masters and grow my channel and everything. So I'm sorry, there's no reason to get like so emotional, but I'm not gonna let like a silly like too fake like spoil my celebration so I'm gonna go and celebrate and do what I had planned anyway because fuck it. <laughs> so I am also a bit like I've been having some issues with my anxiety again so it's not I'm not just like getting emotional over a tooth fake. I've been like struggling a little bit. I'm not gonna let this affect my celebration because I do deserve to celebrate after my hard work. So let me show you what I'm wearing. <laughs> oh, by the way, I haven't opened the package with my gown and cap yet. And I don't even know if it's gonna fit because remember it's like kid size, even though it's an extra large. So maybe I should have opened it before like getting like fully made up, but <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so I am wearing, oh my God, you guys are gonna die. I don't know if you remember this dress. But it's the dress from my rehearsal dinner from the wedding. Oh my god, good times, good times before Corona, before mm, Corona. <laughs> oh my god, I miss this dress so much. I'm so happy it still fits. It's a stretchy dress, so that's nice. And uh, oh, and I changed my nail. Changed my nails because the um, the long nails were getting in the way, <laughs> and also I was breaking them all the time. Uh, so oh, those are the the same nails I had for the wedding as well, like short and this color. Oh my god, I feel like I'm gonna get married. <laughs> Honestly, whenever we can, I wanna renew our vows because. I love my wife so much. She's been like so supportive, like through me, you know, going through this last few weeks of finishing my master's and through me struggling with mental health. She's so supportive. She's always there for me. I love her so much. Okay, let's open the package and see if this motherfucker fits me. Fingers crossed. I'm gonna cry if it doesn't. <laughs> and I'm not even exaggerating. Oh, hello, boobs. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This is the worst angle ever. But let's open this package. Ooh. The collar is banging. It matches my hair. It matches, especially matches my wall. <laughs> what should I try on first? The cap or the gown? Let's try the gown on first. It looks like it could fit me, right? I think you will. I think you will. Oh my god, yes, motherfucker fits. Yes. I feel like it also looks like a robe a little bit. Like, oh, thank you, honey. <laughs> okay, now this is the important part. Look, even the dangly thing is pink. Aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh, now this is looking right. I just have to make sure it fits my head. Yay! <laughs> woo, woo! It fits me just about, but it does. Yay! Oh my god! Uh, look at my... As you can see, it doesn't fit me all the way because it's for kids. But look at this, especially like from this angle. Like, <laughs> Yay! I am graduating! <laughs> Beverly, congratulations! We did it! We did it, baby! <laughs> Oh my god, let's wake Eileen up with this beautiful vision. <laughs> She's snoring. Bless her. Beverly's doing the dirty work for me. Oh, come on, Tom. <laughs> no, don't let her spite me. Good morning, baby. Hi, darling. Oh, oh, hi. 
Hi, baby. Oh, oh, Beverly, stop, please. You look so cute. Do you like it? Yeah, you look cute. Do you think it kind of fits? It fits perfect. Are you kidding me? I Do mean, I look like Elle Woods by a pinker? Yeah, yeah. You Do you know who beautiful. Elle Woods is? Yeah. Do you want my case? You know that pink case that we got? <gasps> oh, yeah. Okay, you've got to get ready now, baby, for us to go. Okay, where are we going? We're going outside to take pictures and then we're going to Harrods for a drink. There's a dog in this house. There's a dog in this house. So, it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> it's pouring. It was raining, it stopped. We came out, it started raining again. Now it's just raining a little bit, but still, it's. I don't think it's gonna stop raining and we have the camera and everything and the popper. <laughs> so, we're just gonna go home and take pictures at home and celebrate at home. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna celebrate in true pandemic style. Just <laughs> we're gonna have a graduation at home. <laughs> We've done all the work at home. We oh no, it's gonna rain more now. Did you hear that? Oh, fucking shit! How are we gonna get home now? Ah! Look at my beautiful wife setting up. <laughs> we're gonna put a black screen over there so it looks like you know it's a school picture. And my baby is setting it up for me. Thank you, baby. <laughs> You're Who's the best to wife? You're the best <laughs> wife. And then she's also gonna make us cocktails. Oh my god, how did I get the best wife on the planet? <laughs> Yay! Are you ready to take some pictures? I'm ready, baby. <laughs> Thank you, you so, so much, beautiful. baby, for you know celebrating. Oh, <laughs> my pleasure. What would you say? Oh, Beverly wants to be involved. There's a puppy that wants to be involved. There's a dog in the house. There's a dog in the house. <laughs> you look pure Elle Woods at the moment. Oh, oh baby. Oh, you wouldn't have so graduated much. without oh, no, her. No, you wouldn't have graduated at all. Without her calming me down, sitting on my lap while I was doing my assignments. Exactly. Okay, ready? Yeah. Oh, so okay, if you could like take some full body, some okay. half, and some just like head and shoulders, like okay, school sure. pictures. <laughs> okay. Please, thank you. So they're you. photos, right? Yeah, yeah. Look how cute. So cute. <laughs> Oh, that's really cute. You should see Beverly's looking right at me. Come here. Oh, oh how cute. Yeah, yeah, very cute ones with that puppy. Oh, the ones with Beverly. <laughs> oh, adorable. Come here. You come, come up to mom. I think come soon my mom. whole Instagram is, oh my God, look at this one. She's blinking. This is the cutest thing on the oh. planet. Oh, she wants to play with your shoes again. Oh no, not the shoes. <laughs> not the not shoes. The shoes. <laughs> not the shoes. Ah! So there's some nice ones. I think there's some really good ones. Yeah, there. there's some great ones. You're so good at this, baby. Thank you, darling. And the last one should be you. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Do, the thing. <laughs> yeah. Do it again. I want to see your arms in the air. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a really good one. Do it, do it again. Do it again. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> the workout. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, those are really good. Oh my god, it's so funny. It looks like I'm falling. <laughs> I love them, baby. Do Thank you, you so much. Oh, my Come pleasure, here. darling. Well, congratulations, my darling. Thank you, baby. I love you, baby. I love you so much. Oh, I love you so much, baby. I'm so proud of you. Oh, are you yeah. ready? Oh, I'm so proud of you. You can't imagine. I really am. Mm -hmm. Whoa, are you okay? Are you okay? Whoa. <laughs> are you okay? Thank you, baby. Yeah, my, beautiful, my beautiful grandkid. Oh, I love you, baby. So I love you much. too, my darling. Eight years of school here and you did it. Is that Eight. Right? <laughs> How many years? Six. Six years of school. And you I did had it. a gap year. And you're a gap year. Gap year. Gap year. <laughs> and you did it. You got a master's degree. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Thank you so How much. How does it feel? Oh, I feel like a I different mean, person now. Don't you feel really accomplished? <laughs> I'm so proud of you, baby. Mm. Really I'm proud crazy. of you. Now PhD, that's what I say. No, no thanks. No more studying <laughs> for me. No more studying? <laughs> no, for the next, like, 
Ten years. Okay. Cheers, my darling. Cheers, queers. Cheers, queers. Congratulations, baby. Thank you so much. To graduating in 2020. <laughs> That's right. To graduating with a master's degree in 2020. Jesus. This tastes delicious. This is so good. Thank you so much for making it. Oh my god, it's amazing. Oh, look who's here. Wow. Oh. Okay, so I think that's it. I've done what I had to do. Ooh. We celebrated a little bit as much as we could. <laughs> so that's it. And I'm so proud Ooh. of you, baby. Ooh. No more studying ever again. YouTube better be okay. <laughs> okay, cheers, queers. Oh, Thank you look, so look much. Come into the picture. Oh, Thank you so much for watching. And where's Brittany? Where is she? I think she's, she's snapping. Sleeping. She's napping under the covers. Thank you so yeah. much for watching. Have a very, Have very, very lovely, lovely day. day. <laughs>